it does actually affect their pension if they are receiving one from um, Centrelink, their old age pension, but it does not affect pension they receive through super. Your retired parents. Um, so I'm fortunate enough that I've got two retired parents. <laughs> uh, now, um, again, if we keep in mind um, in, in Australia, as an adult tax resident, you get the first 20,000 or so of your income tax-free. That's called the tax free threshold. Uh, and, and even just, uh, if, if you look at, I'm um, distributing 20 grand to one person at, at no tax versus giving it to yourself at 39% tax, uh, you, you're saving just under eight grand per person there in, in tax. So it can add up to be, um, a pretty decent tax saving. Um, now, also on that point is retired parents. The, the other thing we want to be careful of is if they're receiving Centrelink. Um, yeah, and, and Steve's actually brought that up just at the same time. Uh, it does actually affect their, their pension if they are receiving one from um, Centrelink, their old age pension, uh, but it does not affect uh, a pension they receive through super, their own super fund, uh, because that is not taxable if they meet those certain conditions. So. Um, so yeah, when we've done the analysis on, um, should we distribute to someone's retired parent and they lose the pension, um, is there a cost benefit there? Um, it, it's usually not, or there's just so much paperwork involved, um, because then like all, all of a sudden want to know everything about your trust, um, that it's not worth the time. So, um, yeah, we, we often, if, if, um, a retired parent's got Centrelink pensions coming in, um, we usually just don't even go there. So, um, so just keep in mind that they, they usually need to be self-funded retirees um, to uh, help you out in that instance.